Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today is part two of me working with this beautiful shimmer wall from Bubblegum Shimmer Walls. So today I am working with this box filled with a whole bunch of Calisan balloons. So let me scoot you closer and show you which colors I chose for this setup. First color that I will be using is chocolate brown. I have 12 24 inch balloons and standard caramel brown in 12, 5, and 24. The third color will be printed balloons and it's black with gold animal print on them. Super excited to inflate these to see how this print will look on black balloons. Let's go, let's inflate. To inflate my 12 and 24 inch balloons, I will be using my electric balloon pump. It came from Festi. You can check out Festi usa.com i will leave a link in the description under the video they have gem bar balloons they have a whole bunch of other stuff for your setups you can use my code anastasia10 for 10 percent off at checkout and enjoy that percentage off now let's go back to balloons two balloons 12 inch inflate them at the same time into different sizes you inflate them you press them against the table to give them more rounder shape once you did that tie two balloons together into a pair just like that repeat the same process you have two pairs crisscross them and intertwine them together into a quad quad is two pairs of balloons together or four balloons in one in one bundle <laughs> once you have that you're ready to inflate the rest by the way i'm not going to show you the whole process of inflation of the balloons just because i'm going to save you some time <laughs> here's how i like to inflate my printed balloons so no matter what company no matter what kind of print this is what i like to do when you inflate your printed balloon like a regular latex balloon you can see that at the bottom of that print you can see whole bunch of empty space i don't like that here's how i fix all that space i'm grabbing my printed balloon pinch in the palm of my hands and i am starting to inflate during the inflation of the printed balloon i am not letting go and holding that balloon in the palm of my hands that will ensure that the top of the balloon that is free will inflate with the print and the rest of the balloon without the print will stay at the bottom pinched in the palm of my hand when you tie a balloon and look at the bottom look how little space we have balloons are inflated and i am ready to move on to the next step if you watched my previous video part one of this shimmer wall you remember that i told you that i have extra panels left over i didn't include them in an actual wall structure and i want to use those extra panels in a different way so i'm grabbing my poster stands and i pre-clipped pre-made these rows of sequin so I'm grabbing my zip ties and I am attaching these rows of sequins to my poster stands. I'm very excited, <laughs> let's go. Placement of these two pieces are not final. I'm going to figure out where I want these two once I'll start taking care of all the balloons and once I'll start figuring out the design of this whole setup. Here's what I'm gonna do with my balloons. So I'm starting with this brown, darker brown color. I am grabbing clusters of, or quads of balloons and I'm tying them together by the necks of balloons into a start of my balloon garland. So something like this will do, maybe two more. I'm gonna go to the side of my wall and start attaching these balloons on the side at the very bottom. I will be using fishing line to attach my balloons to the shimmer wall. Once I tied my balloons to the shimmer wall, the wall started to move together with balloons and I don't want to have any movement of my wall actual panels i want the shimmers to move but not the actual structure of the wall so i'm grabbing a zip tie going through 
with the zip tie and zip tying the wall to the actual frame stand. And now shimmer wall won't go anywhere. This section for me looks a little small, so I wanna add one or two more quads to this piece of a balloon garland. Carrying my balloons at the top with more fishing line. Creating a mini balloon garland out of printed balloons by tying quads together by the necks of balloons exactly the way we did with a darker brown color. Instead of tying my printed balloons from the very top of the brown, I want to go a little bit down a quad and find a neck from here and then tie those printed here because I want this to look like printed balloons are coming out out of the solid color. I hope that makes sense. Let's twist and play around with the shape of these printed balloons just to see where we want these balloons to go and how we want this section of the balloon garland to curve. I have decided on the placement of this panel right here. I think I'm going to keep it here. And just because we hit a lot of balloons with the sand, I want to add more brown, kind of like going here and to the bottom. Let's create a mini balloon garland out of caramel brown. Section of the balloon garland. These two colors are way too different. This one's light brown, this one's black. And the contrast is big in my opinion. So I want to blend these two colors together by adding a darker brown somewhere over here. Look how different it looks. Now every single color is marrying together and they work together instead of against each other. Added two more quads on this side to give a back support for this big balloon over here. I want to bring this color in because there's a lot of brown and we need to lighten up and bring in that caramel color in because having a caramel just up top will not give us that aesthetic look. So I want to spice it up at the bottom just a little bit using a rubber band to attach my 24 inch. On this side, I want to add printed balloons. So I made another mini balloon garland and I want to make an illusion connecting this section of my balloon garland with the top printed balloons. Kind of give an illusion of those printed balloons going through this panel and coming out this way, wrapping this way or going straight to the side. Let's add some caramel color over here. Not too much, but it's too many dark colors in this section. So let's lighten this up. Try to place this caramel color over here just to see how this quad will break down these two colors and how it's going to marry everything together. Uh, maybe it will work, maybe it will not, we'll try. When I'm trying something out and I don't want to permanently tie my balloons to the balloon garland, I am using rubber bands. I like it. To avoid this happening from ever again, I added a painter's tape at the very tip of my stem just to cover that exposed wire. And now I can insert my stem without fearing that balloon will pop. Another thing that you can do is simply bend your stem and you can insert into the balloons.
This is it you guys, this is what I have for you. This is my final setup. I absolutely love all the colors, how they came together. Love the pop of red from the artificial leaves. I got them on Amazon, so are these gorgeous, my favorite roses. I will link them in the description under this video. Thank you so much again, Bubblegum Shimmer Walls for this beautiful champagne color shimmer wall. Loving the whole thing. Everything that I used will be linked in the description under this video. Go ahead and check it out. I used about 300, 320 balloons overall, counting the five inch balloons. All right, you guys, if you have any additional questions, leave them in the comment section below. And I hope all of you will have a wonderful day. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I hope you'll have a good one. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.